rest in peace to my uncles and God bless them. So this story time is about the time when I used to, me and my sister used to harass my uncles and we would brick them. Okay, we would brick them with bricks. Well, not both of them. It was just one of my uncles that we did this to. But anyway, we, okay, my uncles probably lived about maybe like 15 minutes away from us. And this was when me and my sister was kids, okay? So, they lived like 15 minutes away from us. And every day, they didn't have a car at the time. So, one of my particular uncles, every day he would walk past the house on his way, you know, going someplace. So, every time we seen my uncle, we decide to start doing something funny you know something crazy you know we we was we was always looking for some entertainment you know something to get us laughing and going so we was always looking for that so um we decided we was gonna start you know hiding out in the woods every time my uncle passed by the house walking and we was gonna start throwing bricks at him so what we had to do in the afternoon like around a certain time my mama she used to take up her bath like around the same time in the evening time and she would always tell us to make sure we stay in the house when she gets in the bathtub because she knew that like we always like going out to the road we told her yeah but of course we didn't listen and every time like six or seven o'clock in the afternoon when my mom got in the bathtub we would go running down to the road and we'll be waiting for my uncle to pass by and every time we see him coming we would hide in the bushes out there so we'd hide in the bushes and once my uncle <laughs> once my uncle passed by the house we get our rocks and our bricks and we'll start throwing them at him down the road and he'll always be looking back like what the hell's going on what was that and um, we would just like keep coming from behind the bushes and bricking him and throwing rocks at him until he'll start running. So um, once he started running, he'll just run on down the road until he got way down the road. And then he'll proceed to go where he was going. And we'll go running back in the house before my mom got out the bathtub. So we did this like every evening every evening when my mother got in the bathtub which was somewhere between six and seven o'clock <laughs> every evening she would say don't y'all go down to that road stay in the house and she think that we in the, we were in the house but as soon as she got settled and got in that water and everything we'd leave out the house run down to the road and wait for my uncle every evening every afternoon it was so much fun and surely every afternoon my uncle would walk past the house it happened numerous of times and he'd get bricked down bricked down I'm telling you guys bricks thrown at him knocked in the back knocked in the head and he just go taking off running when he couldn't take anymore and so um you know, being kids, we thought that my uncle didn't have any clue, any idea that we was doing this, right? Because he never mentioned it to my mother. He never mentioned it to us or nothing like that. So we just thought, wow, we got him. He had no idea what we we're doing. Well, he had no idea it's us, you know? So probably maybe like a month later after us doing this all the time, one afternoon my sister was getting off the school bus by herself and all of a sudden my sister came running home running home screaming and me and my mother was like what's going on and she said my uncle was just passing by her on the school bus and he started throwing rocks at her and so she was like oh <laughs> Yeah, he was throwing rocks at her and then she started taking off running home. 
screaming. So obviously my uncle did know it was me and my sister that was doing this to him. So he paid us back. Luckily, my sister was the only one had to take it that day because I didn't even go to school that day when he decided to um, pay us back. So she was the only one that got it back. <laughs> he bricked her a little bit back. He didn't actually throw bricks at her, but it was like little rocks. Enough to scare her and, you know, and she took off running home and stuff screaming. So, yeah, that was just so funny, y'all. So, that's it for today, angels. And thank you so much for tuning in to this funny story time. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, angels. Bye.